Greetings, Chain School. My name is Julian Mitchell. Uh, I'm an award-winning brand marketer. I've created campaigns and content for global brands like Google, Wells Fargo, Honda, personalities like T.D. Jakes, Magic Johnson, Dwayne Wade, uh, helping develop their digital brands, uh, among others. And in that, I've also worked closely alongside Sean Combs to launch Revolt Media and TV, which is a millennial-driven music network, uh, cable network. It's the first network to launch digital first. My role there was to launch the network as social media director before then becoming editorial director and shaping the voice and the content of the network. And from there, I also have been an instructor with Media Bistro. So teaching brand writing, content marketing, social media marketing, how to tell impactful stories, showing other millennial marketers or people in the advertising space how to use their experiences and their interests and their values and their stories to create great content campaigns that connect different cultures and communities of people while also just amplifying a brand message in a very uh, authentic way. Um, I also am a contributor, a columnist uh, with Forbes.com called The Code, where I talk about the business of music, media, and entertainment, and also with the Huffington Post as a contributor, uh, where I really get into social issues, uh, race, spirituality, uh, the justice system, different documentaries, different individuals who are making a powerful impact in the global community as change makers, as activists, as leaders, uh, community organizers. We're just doing incredible work to move the culture forward. And uh, with my Forbes column, I have a series called Get Paid to Be Yourself, uh, which is all about profiling these dynamic creators, these individuals who design the careers that they want, rooted in who they are without compromising their sense of purpose, their sense of mission. Um, and in that, they've taken their multitude of, they've taken their unique perspective, their outlook on the world, their experiences, what they're passionate about. And they've been able to create, well, use their multitude of talents to create very multifaceted businesses and companies that have become very influential on a global scale and have set trends and have changed the way people think, changed the way people do business, but have been very true to who they are and what they stand for. Um, so in that, that also inspired a series of workshops and webinars that I that I do across uh, the country uh, entitled Get Paid to Be Yourself, which is where I teach the mechanics of how to monetize that value and how to identify your sense of purpose and your value and how to translate that into businesses or create streams, sustainable streams of income. And that's really about enterprising as millennials. Uh, we're in a space where, you know, and I can speak for myself from experience, it inspired Get Paid to Be Yourself, being young, coming up in our parents' generation, where it was all about taking all of your talents, um, everything you want to do, all of your ideas, and trying to fit them into one career field uh, or one path. And that becomes stifling because we as millennials today make up the most multicultural demographic in U.S. history. And that's not just diverse in terms of race and ethnicity, right? Skin color um, or background. It's really ideas, perspectives, experiences, and also uh, history, right? Like bringing histories together and traditions that have been time that are timeless from other cultures and bringing those values and those things together and those things have a tremendous value right because those help shape conversations and add value to uh you know the way that our country functions so and knowing that and understanding that we also as a millennial as millennials in our culture we are rethinking what is important and rethinking how we do things, right? Like how we work, you know, and, and my thing is you get paid for your value, not your time. And we understand that there's value in our unique experiences and our perspectives. And we want to control how we work. We want to control our time. We want to control the stories that we tell and the way that we tell them. And so 
you know, in that and understanding that, I think a global mindset for a millennial is truly thinking outside of convention and outside of tradition and saying, you know, there are so many unique uh, perspectives and experiences that really sh- deconstruct everything that we experience individually, like in America, everything that we know about uh, government and race and um, class and socioeconomics, like those things are very relevant and we experience them and we navigate through them. But at the same time, the true American dream is being liberated. It's freedom. It's being liberated in your mind, liberated in your spirit, being able to think for yourself and have your own sense of beliefs and your own way of doing things and being able to create a path for yourself that's true to you, that you don't have to compromise what you care about and what you're passionate about. And so I think a global mindset is a limitless mindset. And it's saying, you know, we are all global citizens because we all as individuals in terms of the human race and humanity are all united by a shared set of values and principles, right? Like those are love, compassion. We all have a sense of um, intention and purpose, and we all want to give to the world and share our perspectives with the world. And so in knowing that, it's being connected to that and being connected to something bigger. And I think for millennials, there's a couple of things. The first thing is when it comes to careers and we think about the global economy, enterprising is economic freedom. And we're in a space with entrepreneurs and the boom of entrepreneurs being able to create in a digital era businesses from your computer, from your phone uh, very quickly and being able to create a barrier to entry much easier um, in terms of being able to create a business just based on transactions, supply and demand. I think now we're understanding that. You know, if we have the if if our perspective is this powerful and we have this value that's in demand and we create an audience of people who want that for ourselves and we can control that audience, then in essence, we can create our own business models. We can create our own sense of economy that is very much independent um, and interdependent. It's more about collaboration and partnership and Um, being able to affect multiple industries and multiple spaces at the same time. It's being able to take one uh, set of experiences and translate them across multiple industries and cultures and communities, but still be able to stay true to that singular message. And so I think in, in enterprising, we think about, okay, you know, we control that, like shifting the perspective of I'm giving my value to companies or I'm giving my value to industries and saying it's an exchange of value. So how much of that do I want to give and share? And so I think in looking at it like that, that is liberating. Now people are taking their power back and taking control of their ability to create wealth and wealth creates opportunity. It's a sense of freedom. It's a sense of being able to make decisions and being at the table and having the leverage to actually affect change in a real way and speak to other change makers and not be dictated or restricted by other people's rules or opinions. You truly have the freedom to do that. And I think that is the new sense of, uh, um, that is the new business model or the new economy for millennials and creators going forward is having ownership of your value, ownership of your influence, ownership of your perspective, having a multitude of platforms to translate that perspective and being able to penetrate a multitude of industries that reflect a multitude of talents that we all have. But all of those things contribute to one cohesive mission. And that mission is advancing the global society, like global citizenship. It's making the global economy better. It's empowering the global community of people to see their value, to see their worth, to generate wealth, to have opportunities, options, and access. And so that ultimately 
liberates people and starts a revolution in its own sense of people becoming a new version, a new type of entrepreneur. Um, and I think that's very empowering. Um, the other side of that is being able to create the culture you want to see. I believe that millennials who understand the issues, we're in a new time, which calls for a new type of revolutionary, a new type of activist. And I think millennials who are in the digital era of social media and content where content is king and content is powerful and art is liberated activism, where you see a Kendrick Lamar who's able to have a performance that makes such a profound political, social, economic statement and be completely free and liberated to make that statement. And that can challenge and reach a global audience of people instantly and start and advance that conversation. I think in seeing that, we're realizing that you can use content to create the culture you wanna see. So I think when we talk about a third culture, a global culture, it's creators, it's led by creators who understand the issues on a global scale, on a micro, and macro level, what's happening in the U.S. or, or the, the country, the continent that they're in natively, but also understand the bigger issues. And they are smart enough to know how to create content and experiences and tell stories that are truly progressive and challenging and provocative and insightful and inspirational and give in, information to where people who experience them are enlightened and walk away challenged to take action or to reevaluate themselves and become better. And in essence, them becoming better makes the world better, makes what they create better, makes the way that they maneuver through society better, and ultimately creates a smarter, better culture, both domestically and abroad. And so I think these new activists understand issues, but also understand the power in their perspective and in their artistry and how to maneuver through certain industries and create their own platforms and their own businesses and companies that, and their own movements within that, that can truly be progressive in a way that fits the times in a way that truly resonates with a content-driven, mobily focused generation of millennials, which is only going to continue to get more mobile-driven as the next generation comes up. And so really it's about mobilizing too, and that's also about ownership. It's these creators who can create companies and, and who can build and own platforms, they now own those platforms and that enhances their mobility, their social mobility. So now they have real estate in the space. They own, uh, in, in essence, property that is so valuable and so impactful that now they have leverage and they can move and have options. And now that changes the narrative and changes the landscape. And so I think when we talk global citizenship and millennials rising up, these millennials who are rising up are smart, they're savvy, they're digitally focused, they're social media, uh, very savvy with social media, and they're able to take an unconventional route of protest, of resistance, of progress, and ways to forge change and, and build camaraderie and community on a global level through other things like experiential activations through content, through storytelling, through uh, using and creating visuals that deliver a certain message and challenge people. And I think that when we talk about Rise of the Millennial, it's truly imagining the future, a future that is young people who have a passion for change and have a unique perspective and set of talents, being able to design the future for a global community by using unconventional methods that are very prevalent today, like content, experiences, platforms, campaigns, storytelling, that in essence creates a culture, which is a collective, a look, a language, a lifestyle, a value system, an attitude, elevating the way of thinking, which in essence is revolution. So I think the rise of the millennial is the rise, is an uprising. It's a revolution that affects the economy. It affects 
the industries of media and entertainment and artistry. And it also affects the social climate and gets people to think and take action in a new way. So for me, that is how I look at global mindset. I look at the rise of the millennials and truly what imagining the future is for our generation. So you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, at all things Mitch, and I hope to hear from you soon.